this is a review on us Gary V. So first lesson I learned from this book is that anything that happens in business it doesn't really matter. Most important is it's all about your family. Always put your family first. My current challenge is is try to read a book a day. It hasn't been quite successful because to read a book it takes about maybe 10 hours and at the moment I've been reading a lot more books but it's really hard to focus like for 10 hours just to read a book because when you read a book you get to think about what you're reading as well and I take notes as well so mo so probably now I will take notes using this camera so there's one thing that saved my life like one of the biggest problem before is that I would sleep for like 10 hours a day and I knew this well I didn't know before but I know now and the way to fix this is that when I wake up or feel sleepy I would drink coffee some people say coffee is bad some people say it's good but do whatever it takes to so another thing that we learn from the book is about accountability. So when you so when you're like an entrepreneur yourself, it's really hard to keep yourself motivated because at first it's only one person, so you need to build a team. So when you have a team you can get the other person to like be accountable for the things you do. So always have someone there to see what you're doing and see. Well Ailey, Sanji, I love you. My G7X. What else I also learned is that you always want to bring value to your customers and also um, people. People are the most important people, the most important thing in the business. So we are going to go to the Sendon Library now to learn knowledge because the more you learn the more you will earn So the next part of the book talks about having a big and a big goal so You need to have a big goal to focus you and to have a North Star to get you excited so oh, now I want to buy Manchester United the football club and I need to know how much I need to buy the club <laughs> it's a crazy dream but it will get me excited well that's the first thing I thought of yes that's why not let's buy Manchester United so you have this dream and every day you need to put in loads of work to attain this so I've been doing business for a long time now and I help other companies to build a company and the best way to market your own company is word of mouth so whenever you're with your customers always remember to add value to your your customers so much they love it so much and tell their friends and when their friends hear about you their friends will come to you and they want you to add more value to them so the best way to market is the word of mouth but first you've got to put in the effort and the hard work to give someone's value to help them to give it to the customer so, so they tell their friends okay I'm gonna try to well you see I'm going to speak Chinese I'm going to speak Chinese we are in the library right now and I'm gonna talk about this book the Gary 
Gary Vaynerchuk book and it's quite an interesting book about business so hopefully we will learn a lot from this book okay really sunny day in Shenzhen today and it's a good and it's a good day to go to the Xiaoning Guang to read some books so the next biggest lesson I learned from this book is cash cash is oxygen so like whenever you're in business the most important thing in business is to sell your product if your product doesn't sell you have no cash and if you have more cash you can do more of the other things and it's all about customer satisfaction so the next part of the book talks about should you quit your job and if you have enough saving he said yes you should quit your job you should have at least two years of saving so you can pursue your dream job or passion if you don't have two years of living of money saved in your bank don't quit your job you can still work on your current job and build your business in the other hours of your life because you work there like eight hours or ten hours but for the rest of the day you should be pursuing your other dream but if you have like two years of salary to, to keep you living for like two years is to quit your job and pursue your passion so the next part of the bird talks about don't worry about what other people talk about of you because you want to just listen to the people that support you and not listen to the people that gets you down I So today I failed my challenge. The challenge was to read a book a day and I was reading the Gary V book, it's Ask Gary V and what happened is I got I got into one third of the book and I got sleepy. <laughs> so I've been I spent like three hours like reading the book and I learned many insights into like entrepreneurship and how Gary Fee like the best part of the book was about the hustle it's all about working like 18 hours for your business because if you're not working that that much amount of hours your business might not take off so because you are the most you're the cheapest employee of the company <laughs> if you pay for someone else it's expensive so and also another important lesson lesson from the book is to have a product to sell because even though you're like selling like a course you should have a book to sell or a course to sell or a product to sell and the best way to make money is to have a product to sell and it's all about the hustle always hustle hustle 18 hours a day only sleep six hours a day and then you will have your first business and you will be very proud about it okay this is Winston and this is Winston signing out please subscribe and share this to your friends the next part of the book talks about building honey into your business so you want to have different price items so you want to have some um, low margins products so this is get you the customers walking into your door and you some you have some high value uh, high margin items and when your customers come in the door buying these products they would after they 
buy this product they will also buy these products so you have a low margin product the next thing Gary V talks about is talk about building a solid team so you, the first thing in the business you need to build a solid team the next thing you need to do is build a really good product and then the third step is to be really good at selling the product so the most important thing about an entrepreneur is just grab a product and go and sell it it's like hey do you want to buy this for like 10 RMB and just find a customer and sell it to them otherwise if you just think about entrepreneurship all the time you don't try to sell anything you never will make any profit and the most important thing is to make cash flow so Gary Furniture actually doesn't really like reading but he read two business books and one of them is about Steve Jobs and the other one, the second one is about Google and uh, both are business books so that's probably the next two books that I'm going to read so the next part of the book it talks about um, should people go to college and university and they say yes and no it's all about finding your passion so what Casey Neistat says is that you should find your passion and if you are if you suck at your passion still pursue your passion because when you found your passion you're gonna spend the most amount of time doing that thing and also keep telling people about your passion is that if you go to college it might help you with your work or not but you still have to find your passion through college or not but if you know your passion already and whether that helps your with your passion <laughs> so the most important thing in life is to discover your passion and realize it once you discovered your passion just keep doing it and keep improving on your passion so I'm going to talk about about following technology so a couple of years back I went on this business trip and one of the millionaires gave me an iPad to use and when I was using it I didn't know how to use it and he said oh you're quite stupid because you don't know how to use the iPad so after I got back from the business trip now the first thing I did was I went to the iPhone and bought an iPad because the most important thing today is following the technology if you don't know how to follow the technology you just become outdated and you won't be able to like communicate with your customers people ask me all the time Winston how how do you stay hungry all the time I just tell them just don't eat for 24 hours then you'll be hungry all the time and the next part of the book Gary talks about is about hustle so anyone that works very very, very hard can also outperform the talented people it's all about working hard at your craft